So I recently bought a Sculptfun S9 90 watt laser. I was wanting to do some tile work because I thought it looked really cool. Saw a lot of people online, online using, uh, and a lot of great videos using paint and then cleaning it off with acetone, uh, using zinc paint and cleaning it off with a steel wool without having to worry about acetone. That was another step up. And then I found something even better. Uh, what I found was uh, just by accident, I took just this regular masking tape and I was just masking letters. You know how you like to play with your laser and goof around with all kinds of different stuff. And I put the masking tape on there and pulled it off and I noticed that the lines that were left were really high contrast compared to the paint below or the tile below. And so I just took the masking tape. This is the first one I've done. I took the masking tape and I laid it across edge to edge across this piece of, I think it's four by four tile, and then burned it on my, actually I tried a few uh, patches first. I did about six patches, anywhere from uh, 200 to 600 speed at 100 power uh, on a Sculptfun S9 uh, 90 watt laser. I This result right here was 600 speed at 100 power. And the great thing about this is it does better than any other contrast that I've seen with paint. And you can just take it and put it under warm water, scrape it off with your nail, scrape off the excess with your nail, and this is the result. And you can see the surface of that. It's in there, and I don't know it, what kind of, uh, if it burns just enough. If I use the higher speeds, it would burn down below and get uh, underneath into the ceramic and but 600 speed at 100 power was perfect on my sculpt fun sculpt fun s9 so and another thing i did was after i did that uh any place on there you can take any of the black you can take just like uh, vegetable oil or anything and just rub it in there and it makes it look real rich and real dark and it just came out amazing the best results i've had yet even with paint uh, or the zinc paint. You don't have to use uh, acetone to clean stuff off. You don't have to buy the expensive paint. This roll was what, four or five dollars? And I was worried about, you know, doing a strip and putting a, another strip next to it, but you just line it up, put it next to it, and do the strips, and that is the best result I've got. The surface looks like a rough sandpaper, and it's really durable, and that's the best result that I have. So. Let me know in the link uh, what machine you have and what power settings that you put it on in order to get that result. Thank you. Have a good one.